going in and out Those revolving doors It blows me away Take me away Throw my body about In an ocean of who I am Who I am destined to be Who I will become Light me up Giant star Put your heat on me This is all that I can be Take me up Here we are Welcome to Sydney, Nova Scotia. All right, we are now in Cape Breton, Sydney, Nova Scotia. But I'm going to give you a complete tour of this town as soon as you get off that cruise ship. My wife, she's already got coffee. How's that coffee? Good. Dr. Luke's. Dr. Luke's. And we're on kind of like the main street. But let's get this tour started and let's have some fun. All right, we just got off in Sydney, Nova Scotia, off of the Carnival Magic, and we're heading down the street. There looks like a, a few different shops here, but if you see it in the background, that's one of the highlights here, which is the fiddle. So they got a lot of unique shops, antiques I've seen in here, all kinds of clothes stores, but it's a nice day in Sydney. You can see some of the shops in here. They got all kinds of different unique stuff. And you just kind of go from one to the next. You got to get on this bad boy. <laughs> Look at that. There's the fiddle. All right, here we go. This is the fiddle. Giant fiddle. On the cruise ship. There it is. All right, right off where the cruise ship docks. You can see, I'm gonna do a complete 180 here. And right over here is the governor's pub and eatery that is highly rated. It's a seafood restaurant and brewery. And they got a deck. All right, look at some of these old buildings here. All right, you can see the cruise ship here, but you gotta come here. For Lord Finn Fish and Chips. They are incredible. All right, when you come to Canada, I think this is a staple fish and chips. My wife is going to try a piece of fish. Try that, honey. And look at the view behind us. All right. <laughs> look at this fish. We're at the fish fins. Fish and fins, something like that. I'll show you the video. But this fish and these fries are absolutely incredible. Wish you were here. All right, let me tell you, this Lord Finn, I can honestly say was the best fish and chips I've had in a long time. And it's right behind the cruise ship dock. And make sure you're going up and down these streets. Look at these beautiful buildings. Right off Main Street here is St. Patrick's Church Museum. Look at this place. Let's take a look inside here. Wow, look at this. Church is insane. And make sure you're walking on to the second floor. And see how old this church is 1825 and if you like history you want to stop in this church it's directly across from the port all right right off of Amelia Street you walk up to what street is this Charlotte Street this is one of the oldest buildings in Sydney the Jost House This is the oldest play part of this house, the Jost house. Enjoy the rest of the vacation. Thank you. This is really neat. Boy, they must have been shorter back then. Just a bit. This is the chamber pot. So people back then didn't have outhouses or indoor plumbing. So what they did was they had to use that. And early in the morning, they dumped it out. 
Uh, but I like what the British call it. They call it the gazunder because it goes under the bed. But um, in 1991, we repurposed this room to become the Birds of Atlantic Canada. So you'll see that on the walls, we have all the birds that live on the east coast of Canada. And then if a man died, his body would be laid out in the parlor because there's no funeral parlors back then. So what do you think of here in Sydney? I think it's great. I think you have to walk the side streets, go in some of the old homes and tour those, some of the churches, there's museums all along. It's really a lot of history here. Yeah, you gotta at least walk these streets, even if you're coming in on a cruise ship, it's yeah. beautiful. Look at all these buildings. They are very unique. Again, walk the streets. It's kind of got like that Bar Harbor, Cape May feel. Another house on this street. 1790, the Liscomb House. All right, right next to this church is a place down here called the Island Folk Cider House. That's supposed to be great for ciders. Read a lot about this place. This is what this place is all about. Their Island Folk Ciders. We're gonna try them and let you know how it is. All right, we got a flight of these ciders. We got four here we're gonna try from driest to sweetest. Gonna try the driest one first. I would think it would taste more like a wine, maybe. How's that one? Pretty good. The next one is Jello Tree, which is strawberries. She likes that one too. We're gonna switch spots here now, and Todd's going to try the lemon. Yeah? Is it sweet? Yeah? Okay, the last one is the Rebel Rosé, and this is the sweetest of the four in our flight. Is that good? This yeah. guy just brought us another sample of Breton Brewery, which is here. The one on the left is Blood Orange, and I can't remember the next one, but again, you gotta come here and try this place because they got so many different things to try. St. George's Church, 1785. Sydney is in, uh, I guess it's like, it's called Cape Breton. Because everybody keeps saying Cape Breton, Cape Breton, but here's another beautiful church that we're gonna just take a peek inside. The Lord's Prayer, as old as the building on these plaques. Downtown Sydney. This is what they're working on in Sydney right now. But here is the historic district. They got some construction going on right now, but uh, we'll walk down through here and see what's there. On the corner of Charlotte and Dorchester is Cape Breton Historical Museum. You're getting off at the port. You need a drugstore? There's one right on Charlotte, the Pollock Drugstore. But look at some of the history of this place too. Here is the Hat Highland Arts Theater. Look at this mural. Dr. Luke's Coffee Shop in Sydney. All right, this is cool. This is called Dr. Luke's Coffee Shop. Most quaint little place if you want to break in Sydney. All right, here's one of the highlights in this. Sydney. It's Cape Breton Center Craft and Design. Get the art in here in the Cape Breton craft store. It's really an art store. If you like art and crafts, stop in this place right on the main street inside Sydney. Ill House in Sydney. There's part of the boardwalk entrance. All right, here we are in Sydney on the boardwalk that goes along the coast back to the ship or from the ship. It's a nice little stroll along the water. And right off the boardwalk, if you'd like to drink or have some food, right here is the boardwalk tap room and brew. I tell you, this boardwalk, it, it, it is a nice little stroll, but it is probably only maybe a half a mile long. But it does take you up the coast, which is really cool. And you get to meet everybody. Everybody's so pleasant here in Canada, Sydney, Halifax, and St. John. Here's the chill zone for ice cream shakes and so much more. 
let's get naughty. Gifts and home decor. This is a quaint little gift shop right next to the governor's place. If you eat there. And there it is. A puffin. All kinds of knickknacks in this place. Look at these colors in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Some of these old houses go back to the 1700s, 1800s. And look at these giant sunflowers. That house is just covered in greenery. All right, this is another very old building in Sydney. It's called the Cosset House Museum. You can take tours of all these different places. All right, here we are at the Cosset House in Nova Scotia. Wow, look at this. This place is old. Can you imagine heating your whole house by fire? Look at this old history. Here is the original kitchen. Look at the backyard of the Cosset House. This is where they planted their herbs. And she said the children are the one that took care of the herb gardens and vegetables. Here is a great memorial when you're getting off your cruise ship. All these guys rescued people back in the day. Carnival magic in port in Nova Scotia. All right, this is cool. Right off the cruise ship is this restaurant right here called Portside. Outdoor seating, and I'm sure they got good food as well. But check this place out. It is pretty cool. Portside with a bar. And no shortage of seating in here off the cruise ship. There it is. And there's the wife walking on the boardwalk. And you can see the boardwalk eventually makes its way back to the cruise ship. Here's shop at the fiddle. There's the fiddle and there's the cruise ship. And we're gonna walk in here and show you some of the shops, see what they got inside. Here we are inside the terminal, back to the cruise ship, the lighthouse inside. And right outside the fiddle, you walk into here, which is Pittman Hall. Look at this place. Man, if you want to get some souvenirs and shopping right off the cruise ship, it's here. You can probably see the cruise ship behind us. There's a cool little restaurant. Flavor on the water. Up where the fiddle is. You can see the fiddle with the cruise ship right behind it. In Sydney, Nova Scotia. We're wrapping our day up. It was a not a beautiful day weather-wise, but we had a great time. Thanks for having us, Nova Scotia. We will be back one day for sure. Hold on, honey. Ooh.